Welcome back to our 100% playthrough of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on PlayStation 4. In today's episode, we are going to be finally starting the Civil War quest. Now there's a few main reasons we want to go ahead and get this done. For one, now that we have Mjold Lionheart as a spouse, she can join us into the battle to make them much easier. And also, we can finally finish off the uh, werewolf skill tree. Um, this is really one of the best places to do it at, since you're in a lot of massive battles. And as long as you have an ally that can keep pelting them both with uh, two-handed and bow and arrow, um, it's really easy. Okay, and right off the bat, we need to go ahead and head to Solitude. And for some reason, I don't think we unlocked the Blue Palace, so we can just warp too, so that's fine. Alright, so here's the plan of attack. Historically, you notice I have gone out of my way to avoid meeting Balgroof in Whiterun so that we can get this quest done. The reason being, once you get that whole thing started between Riverwood and Balgroof in Whiterun, that will start dragons from spawning all over Skyrim. You notice we have not fought a single dragon, other than I think there may have been one that we triggered at a spawn point of theirs, but we've not been hit by a single roaming dragon anywhere because we've not released them yet. And this is crucial, I think, to getting the Civil War quests done. In my opinion, there are two main quests in Skyrim non-DLC, and that is Civil War and Alduin. And personally, it can get absolutely chaotic if you have both of them going at the same time, so I like to go ahead and knock the Civil War quest out just to have it over with and then let things play out naturally with the dragons. Plus, it makes uh, the whole second half, when you're doing all the different quests and side quests, much more fun since you never know when you're going to be ambushed. So let's go ahead and take off all quests, because we don't care about any other markers right now. And this is also our last chance to sell anything that's weighing us down. I've Let's got go it. ahead to bits and pieces. Hey, Sema. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Oh yeah. What Take you got a look. For sale. All right, so we have three thousand gold to work with, thanks to our shop. Another good reason to get the spouse as fast as possible. Uh, earns you extra income constantly. So first of all, what can we sell? Well, we are not using the crossbow, so any kind of bolts, get rid of them. They don't weigh anything, but if we don't plan on using it, there's no reason to have them. Apparel, we already have a backpack. We don't need backpacks we're not using. And we don't need the regular iron shield. Again, as you see, everything you sell is increasing your speech. Just sell all the potions we made until she has no money left. Try and get her as close as possible to not having money. With something we don't care about. Sorry, all you Skuma fans. And now, we have almost 4,000 to work with, so let's see if she has anything great. Not seeing a whole lot. The main thing I'm looking at, if you notice down on the bottom, the armor rating, that's a quick way to tell you if anything can help you. And, of course, shields we're not using, so that's kind of a moot point. 
Alright, ingredients. Not wasting money on it right now. It's just time waster at the moment. And anything miscellaneous like soul gems could be important. We can fill them ourselves now. But she doesn't have any of the great soul gems. So, not worried about it. Actually, she does. Now, I believe greater soul gems will trap normal people's souls. I don't think you have to go to Grand. I could be wrong on that. Of course, always get the lockpicks. And that's about all we can do. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Huh. Actually, it's not. Trinkets, odds and ends. One thing that we sort do want to check is see if she has any spell books. Since we absolutely need better spells. And of course she doesn't. So, there's one more person sure we to can go to. To, your associates. to finally get us some better magic spells. So we can stop casting flames and frostbite that's doing pretty much nothing. And that is going to be at the Blue Palace. There is a specialist in destruction magic. Go ahead and make our way there, grabbing up ingredients as you go. Hey, want to play tag? Uh, later, not right this second. This is a really good place for blue mountain flowers and dragon tongues, as well as lavender. I really miss traveling like this. Walking the breadth of Skyrim has always filled my heart with excitement. Oh, well, it's about to get real exciting. And speaking of that... I'm itching for a fight. Has Storm made any money? You know it's, it'll be grayed out if it hasn't. If it is white again, that means you have something. We've made a bit of gold. Here, love, this is your share. So, an extra hundred dollars. All set. Let's go. Again, you know it's the first time we did it made over two thousand. It just depends on how long you take to ask her. The longer it is, the more it is. Now notice in here, you can't just take the items willy-nilly because it is considered stealing. So let's go ahead to up top. And the one we are interested in, it kind of stands out. I swear Sybil Smendor. Don't interrupt the cave. Court. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hathingar's huh? people will always be safe under my Your rule. eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. <coughs> Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Now, sometimes they can sound a little bit harsh, but this, I truly feel, is democracy in action. Um, you really have a completely different band of people. Falk Firebeard, that you just heard, he is, for the most part, pretty reasonable and lax about things, whereas Sybil is definitely the hothead of the group. Elisif was thrown into this position since her husband, Torig, is the one that was killed. Um, so she wants to do as best as she can for the people. She is definitely not that strong of a leader but she has really good counsel around her. Now there is one snake in the room and we're looking right at him on the left but more on him later. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. And not that guy. So let's go ahead and talk to Sybil finally. Be if I needed something from you, you would know it. Again, destruction mage, of course she's got an attitude. It's just the stereotype of Skyrim. What have you got for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Believe me, anything you have better than what we have, we will appreciate. 
So finally we get the candlelight spell. Finally we can conjure a flame at Atronach. I can never say that name. Fast healing for the love of gosh. Basically buy the essentials that you're going to need. Upgrades to what you have. Muffle is good since our sneak is terrible. It also is a good way to power level. Which we're actually not going to cheat with I don't think unless we get to a point where we need to stone flesh much better than oak flesh and now let's go ahead and grab um, the upgraded destruction versions of what we have so of your neutral ones we have elemental flare that one says um, it actually doesn't tell you which one's the stronger one, but if you look an Elmill Explosion 25 fire damage, 25 shock damage, this one is 18 fire and shock, so this is the stronger one. Grab that. Um, we already have the Bound Sword. We are terrible at two-handed, so the Battle Axe doesn't help us. And here's the upgraded version of the regular spells we have. So Firebolt. Um, Frostbite is still the basic. So we don't have the upgraded... Yes, we do. Ice Spike. And as far as electricity goes, we have Thunder Lightning Bolt. Mage Light, I think, is worthless when you have the um, Candle Light one. And when it comes to reanimation, this is a weak dead body. This is more powerful dead body, so we want this one. We already have uh, what we need to to trap souls. At this point, the only other one I can see having any use is the steadfast ward. All right. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. She is nice. She's just not a people person. That That's really, I think, the best way to describe Sybil. So, let's go ahead and read each of the spell books we got. And just like that, let's go ahead and change our favorites. So, Alteration. Best ones we have now is Stone Flesh and Candlelight, so we can see. As far as illusion goes, Muffle's really the only one we care about. Destruction. Elemental Bolt is going to be our neutral catch-all. Fire Bolt for Fire, Ice Spike for, for Ice, and Lightning Bolt for Electricity. Conjuration. We still need the Bound Sword. The Flame Atronach will finally give us something we can summon that's useful. And corpse instead of zombie. Restoration, finally fast healing. And steadfast ward instead of lesser. Shouts are pointless right now. Powers, beast form. Now what does dragon skin actually do? I've never played this type of character before. So absorb 50, so absorb half magic from hostile spells for 60 seconds. So if we are in a mage fight that can be useful. At this point, make sure we don't have any negative effects. They'll appear in red. We don't. So we are good to go. Go ahead and get fast healing in one hand. And we'll go LML Bolt in the air. Since it does two different types of damage. And now, we know what needs to be done. I've talked about Ad Nauseam at this point, but if you've not seen the previous episodes, we are siding with the Imperials. I have done both sides of the Civil War quest in previous playthroughs, and I can say with absolute confidence, the best ones for Skyrim, hands down, are the Imperials. Again, I have you played have the story the out from both sides. Hold on there. I have played it out from both sides. And both sides have positive and negatives, but as far as Skyrim's future, being able to fight the Old Mary Dominion, the Imperials put them at a much stronger and more unified position to fight back. 
All the Stormcloaks are going to do is going to weaken the country. They may keep their values, but their values are pointless if they're weakened and taken over by a larger power. Just think uh, Ukraine, Russia. I know we're not getting political here, but you have a massive force trying to take over a smaller one. Does the smaller one want to do it on its own, or does it want to have the help of others? I was fearless and took too many risks, but that's what it was all about. Imperials all the way. I think the game kind of uh, inadvertently Fresh swerves you in many ways because they set you up almost being killed by the Imperials at the very beginning of the game, which will turn many people against them. But then when you finally get to um, Winterhold, Windhelm, and see what the Stormcloaks are about, you realize they're not any better, if anything worse. What is it? Joel Tullius. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Pretty much. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? You won't be calling me that for long. I was at Helgen. Right. Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. I helped Hadvar escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. You better believe it. I'm telling you. Now, right off the bat, one thing you will notice about Gerald Tullius is, he is not from this region. He was actually brought in to settle the Civil War. So, he's not familiar with the people, he's not familiar with the customs, which is good because he almost acts like a helicopter view to this entire situation. So, regardless of your false imprisonment, he will warm up to you very quick and becomes an amazing ally to have. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a Keep cause. Keep those places it's in a mind. Rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. He wants to stay neutral. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, <laughs> you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. The man is an expert tactician. You Legarica. survived Helgen? Whoa. General Tullius Whoa. told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. Hi. I've got a My good feeling about you, woman. and I don't often get good She's feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. Can you imagine I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. All right, I can handle anything you throw at me. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. She's also amazing I'm sending amazing you to, to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. I know it sounds harsh, but let's be honest. Military friends, you know, that's just the reality of it. What's at Fort Hrogstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. 
Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Consider that fort already yours. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. And just like that, we are on our way with the Imperial Legion. Go ahead and make sure that is our active quest. And Sir. for now, we will leave it here. So in the next episode, we will be tackling Fort Krogstead. We are not going to delay the Civil War quest. We are going to plow right through this thing, finish off the werewolf so we can be done with that and get rid of it, and finally settle this matter so we don't have to hear of it again while we start clearing out all the quests, side quests, and then get into the DLCs. So for now, we'll go ahead and stop it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And we will meet you back here in the next exciting episode.